Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elena. If you guys are new here, I am 27 years old. I live in New Zealand and I film budgeting content, sharing my finances with you over here on my channel. I am on a debt-free journey right now, so I'm also sharing that here with you guys. I share my real numbers and my real income. I like to be open and honest about my finances. So if you guys are interested in watching this as well as the other content over on my channel, definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel and be notified of when I upload my next videos. I have been gone for a year and a half. I'm coming back to YouTube, so this will be the first video that you guys see since I've been gone. I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers and all of my returning subscribers who have been viewing my videos while I haven't been posting. I really appreciate the support and I hope that what videos you have seen so far have helped you along on your journey. So for this video we're going to jump right into it. It's going to be a September plan with me. If you guys don't know what that is, I plan every month on a monthly spreadsheet like this, which I print from the Budget Mum and you list out all of your bills, all of your expenses for the month, as well as any events, appointments, anywhere that you're going to be spending money. You note it down on the spreadsheet and your paydays. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the video. And as normal, we'll start off with listing the days of the week and then we'll run into the dates and what's due on each day and I'll talk you guys through each one as I fill it out. So we're going to go with days of the week first. I hope that you guys have been well since I have been gone. I haven't been able to check up on you guys and just see how you're doing on your financial journey or if you even just like watching these types of videos. I'm really thankful to have you guys here. So that is the days of the week done. We're going to put in the dates. So much has happened since I have been gone. So there is a lot to update you guys on. Life updates etc. So I'm really excited to film a life update video for you guys and share with you guys what's been happening in my life. Okay so now we have all of the dates listed and we're gonna go ahead and list my paydays first. I like listing what paydays I have and then I usually like to do my events or appointments and get those listed right on the bottom. So on the third I have a payday. And on the fourth. And if you guys are new here I also get paid weekly. And I share my budgets every week as well. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below and then I'll get back to you guys, whether it be how do you budget every week or what sinking funds I have, I'm happy to answer whatever questions. 
Okay, so starting off with expenses. My first expense is going to be my phone on the 3rd. So my phone is $20 a month. And then I like to do my car loan. And that's $109.50. And there is a whole story for my car loan. Um, so maybe I'll do like a separate video on that. But right now I have a car loan. From my previous videos you will see that the amount is a lot higher than what it used to be. And there's many reasons for that. So I'll just explain that in another video. So then this one isn't too long. And then we've got daycare. And for daycare, it is $70.50 a week. Then I have my gym membership, which is $7.19 a week. But I am going to be cancelling this this month. Then I have a cash loan. And that is $27.78 a week. I have rent. My rent every week is $5.90. So, um, again with this, I moved from my previous house that I was renting into a different house and decreased my rent payments. Then I have electricity and for electricity I'm paying $64 a week and then I have internet and internet is $19.90 a week. Um, for the next week, so we're going to do the 10th to the 16th, I always do payday to the day before the next payday and that's how I prefer to budget my money. We've got car loan on the 11th then we have daycare and many of my expenses get carried through each week because they are weekly payments due to me being paid weekly so I often write it out for each week so again we've got the gym for seven nineteen and cash loan for twenty seven seventy eight for the thirteenth we have rent again five ninety. We've got electricity for sixty four and then we also have internet again for nineteen ninety. Moving on to the 17th, we don't have anything due on the 17th. Usually my bills are mainly due on every Friday, um, but I do spread them out on the spreadsheet so they all fit properly. On the 18th, we have my car loan again for $109.50. Then we have daycare for seventy dollars and fifty cents, gym for seven dollars nineteen, and cash loan again for twenty seven seventy eight. Moving on to the twentieth, we have rent. For five ninety, electricity for sixty four dollars, and internet for nineteen ninety. 
were $19.90. Moving on to the last week of the month, we have my car loan again for $109.50. We have daycare for $70.50. My gym membership is seventeen is seven dollars nineteen. My cash loan is twenty seven seventy eight. And then we have rent five ninety electricity for sixty four dollars. And then we also have internet for $19.90. I also want to put down that the kids will be starting school holidays. So I just like to note this down. So when the time comes, I am prepared and I know when it's happening and then we've also got Father's Day for the first okay so this is my expenses for the month of September I've got one appointment on the 10th and that is for dog grooming So we will note that down for money that I do need to spend on that day. And usually to get my dog groomed is $80 every two months. And that is for a full body groom and to have her nails clipped as well. So from here I do the highlighter method that the budget mum uses and I go ahead and highlight everything for each paycheck so if you guys are new I will explain it as I go along I get paid on the third and the fourth and so every bill that is due from the third to the ninth will be paid with the third and the fourth paycheck so I highlight all the expenses coming out that week with the same color I used for that paycheck then I automatically know these bills are getting paid with this money just to make it easier and when you look at it visually you'll be able to automatically see that that's what you have to pay So we're going to go ahead and start highlighting these different expenses. And then as you see, I put in school holidays. So for school holidays, I'm going to do green. And then I'm going to make a key that will let me know green is for kids. So anything to do with my kids will now be in green for this month. And then I also have Father's Day. So anything for Father's Day will be in blue. So then you just highlight. And then the last one is appointments. So every month I just make a key and um, for Father's Day, instead of putting Father's Day, I would have put events instead. So it includes everything holidays, birthdays, Christmas, that sort of thing. So appointments, we're going to use pink. 
and then that will cover the dog grooming. So this is what my September spreadsheet looks like. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in...